Yo guys, Tom here again today, and uh, sorry I'm still a little bit sick. I've been doing these tutorials like kind of back to back to back. So I'm just going to show you guys today how to composite a final composition, which will be the composition that you render out. Basically what I've, oh, I'll get rid of this really quick. Basically uh, the plugins that you're going to need are um, Magic Bullet Looks and Frischluff FL Glow, I believe it's called. So yeah, right about now I'll be showing you guys what the final composition looks like. So that'll play through. Should just be a guy running with some cool colors and black bars and stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's hop into it. I've just got my composition here. All I've done is added a uh, shine, so you get those light rays. And then a I've cropped it and added camera wiggle so that you can't see the scoreboard. You see it for a little bit, but that'll go away with black bars. And it also has a little top bar, that little black bar up there, that'll go away when we add black bars. Oh, and I've also twixtered this, so yeah. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-compose it, and uh, I'm going to name this Final. <clears throat> Make sure my composition settings are all set up. 59.94 frames per second, that's good. Width, 1280 by 720, that's good. You can change the duration to however long you want, however long your cinematic or video is. So yeah, we've got everything set up so far, so then let's get going with the compositing of it. I'm going to create a new solid Name this black bars. Oops, black bars. How I do my black bars is uh, I come down here to, oh, I'll use this over here. Uh, I get a grid. Where is it? Grid. It's under generate. I just toss it onto a black solid and you get this grid which uh, it will actually be your black bars here in a second. I'll show you guys how. I turn my anchor down to zero, zero. Oops, come on, zero, zero. And then my corner, uh, the first one I turn to 1280 if I'm using a 720p composition by 720. If you're using a 1080, this will be 1920 by 1080. And then I just turn up my border height to around 95. And that gives me these white lines around it, which don't look good whatsoever. But we're going to get rid of the sides so they look like bars. By dragging your 0 right here all the way to the left until it's gone. And dragging your 1280 right here all the way to the right and pumping it up until it's gone so you look like you've got these bars. Now you want to take the color and just make it black. And there you go. You've got black bars which can easily be adjusted. Oh, get that out of there. And, uh, whoa. there you go. You can change them really to any size and they'll look good. I keep it at 95 for all my edits, though. So. so, yeah, sometimes a little more, like 105 or something. Yeah, 105. Um, next step, I'm just going to add a real smart motion blur. I forgot to mention that in the beginning of this. If you guys choose to do that, it's just under your Twixter area, RSMB Pro. Click that. I change my blur amount down to 0.35 and my sensitivity down to 40. And that should just give you, if I turn this up, some nice blur. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but you'll be able to see it in the final outcome. It just blurs movement on the screen to make it look more realistic. So yeah, let's make a new adjustment layer. I always have a vignette. Woo. So I'm going to name this vignette. And then come to Effect, Magic Bullet Looks, and click on Looks. Uh, I go into your Edit Settings <clears throat> and load up a vignette under your lens. Oh, drag your mouse to the right over here to get this menu. Go into your Lens section and load up a vignette. Double click it. <coughs> <coughs> My bad, guys. Sorry, I'm sick. Turn up your radius to like 1... 1.35. And then just click finish. It'll give you nice, uh, softer edges. So it looks like there's, it's not as bright around the edges. And you can change the opacity and, like, harshness of it. I'll turn mine down to, like, 65-ish. So you can still see it, but it's not really noticeable. 
And then next, let's do a color correction. So go to new adjustment layer. I'm gonna do two adjustment layers. One is gonna be FL Glow. Let's put that beneath my vignette. And then the next is going to be my color correction. So under FL Glow, I'm just gonna go into effect or here, I'll come over here. I keep forgetting to do this. I'm trying to get better at it. Type in FL Glow. Double click it. It'll put it onto your adjustment layer. And these are the settings I use. I'm going to go through it kind of quick so you guys can pause and do all that stuff along the way. Uh, I'm going to use aber aberrative. I don't know how to do it. Uh, how to say it. Addition. And then I'm going to turn this up to around 100. Turn this down to around 0.7. Turn this down to around 0.5. Did you do that right? So now if you click it on and off, you'll see that it just gets a little brighter and adds some uh, lightness to the scene. Next, uh, I'm going to go into looks again. Um, this is on the new adjustment layer beneath your FL Glow now. And click edit. Uh, if you guys are new to this, you might want to use a different... You might want to use a pack, which I'll probably put out sometime soon, maybe within the next month. I'll put out a color correction pack for Magic Bullet Looks, and you guys can use that. But for now, because I don't want to have to make a whole new color correction using all this stuff over here uh, during this tutorial, I'm just going to use one that I've already used, which is Gamma Sep. I save all my color corrections. So you guys can see that, and I'm just going to click Finish. Oh, yeah, I'm going to click Finish. And there you go. You've got a nice color correction. With a vignette, uh, there's some glow on it, so if you click on glow, you'll see that it actually does add some more stuff once you've got your color correction on. And your guy will just be running through the scene. So I'll probably show you guys a, uh, what it looks like right about here. And then, uh, if you guys want to do anything more, this is basically what you do. Now you just go up here to File. Um... Export and add it to your render queue. I have, I'll do a how to render setting thing in the future, but for now, just render it out however you normally do. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys uh, enjoyed this, make sure to like it, follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you have any ideas for more tutorials, uh, put that down in the comments. I'll make sure to read them and possibly do them in the future. So yeah. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to try to come out with a color correction pack kind of soon. I've been asked for that. And that's about it. Peace out.